In this lesson, we will learn about the core content for higher spectroscopy on the MCAT. The point of higher spectroscopy is to identify the bonds present in a particular molecule, and by proxy, the functional groups that molecule contains. This is accomplished by looking at the vibrational pattern of different molecules. The details behind how this work are complex and not important for the MCAT, so we won't be covering them today. Instead, we'll focus on reading an IR graph and predicting what kinds of stretches we would expect to see based on a particular molecule. When I talk about stretches, I'm referring to the inverted peaks seen in the IR spectrum below, where peaks with different absorbances measured by wave number correspond to different bonds and thereby different functional groups. While you could memorize a really big list of specific stretches and their wave numbers, it is best to focus first on the big picture trends and then only learn the most common and important stretches the MCAT likes to ask about. Let's start with the big picture. An IR spectrum can be broken down into four major regions. The first region spanning from 4,000 to 2,500 will contain our important single bond stretches. Next to that is the region spanning from 2,500 to 2,000 where we find triple bond stretches. To the right of that is the double bond region spanning from 2,000 to 1,500. And lastly, the fingerprint region corresponds to 1,500 and below. The fingerprint region is very difficult to interpret and therefore the MCAT doesn't expect you to know any stretches within this region. Now that we have learned the general regions, let's use this bigger picture knowledge to answer an MCAT style question before looking at the important stretches within these regions. If an aldehyde was oxidized to a carboxylic acid using H2O2, which of the following changes would you expect to see in the IR spectrum? Since IR spectroscopy identifies the presence of different functional groups, we should begin by considering the differences in functional groups between the two molecules. Both the aldehyde and the carboxylic acid contain a carbonyl group, however only the carboxylic acid contains an OH group. This means the carboxylic acid should have an extra stretch corresponding to its OH bond. Since there is a single bond between the oxygen and hydrogen, we would expect to see a new stretch arise in the 4000 to 2500 region, since that is the single bond region on an IR spectrum. Therefore, answer choice D must be correct. The other answer choices all correspond to regions outside of the single bond region and therefore must be incorrect. Specifically, answer choice A corresponds to the finger point region, B to the double bond region, and C to the triple bond region. What if the answer choices in this last question had two answers corresponding to the single bond region though? How could we end up picking between them? Not all stretches are equal, even if they are both double bonds or single bonds. For example, the C double bonded to an O shows up right around 1700 to 1750, while aromatic carbon bonds tend to show up around 1625 to 1475. Furthermore, the general appearance of different bonds in an IR spectrum also differs. For example, OH bonds tend to be very broad while C double bonded to O are considered sharp. Overall, you shouldn't learn an exhaustive list of different peaks. Instead, focus on understanding the different bond regions and the most important stretches. These include stretches within both the single bond and the double bond region. For the single bond region, you're going to want to know a CH bond, which will be found anywhere from 2800 to 3300, as well as OH and NH bonds, which range from around 3300 to 3500. For the double bond region, we're looking at a C double bond to an O at around 1700 to 1750, C double bonded to another carbon at around 1600, and aromatic carbons somewhere around 1500 to 1600. All right, let's go ahead and cap this lesson off by looking at one more practice problem. This question asks, phenol would be expected to have prominent absorptions in which region of its IR spectrum? To begin, we will identify the functional groups that pertain to each of the stretches listed below. First, 3400 to 3200 refers to either an NH or an OH single bond, while 1750 to 1700 refers to the C double bonded to an O, and lastly 1600 to 1500 refers to aromatic carbon bonds. Since phenol has an OH group attached to an aromatic ring, we would expect the correct answer to contain both answers 1 and 3 since those correspond to those particular functional groups. As always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more useful MCAT tips and share it with anybody else who's taking the test.